Hello beautiful people, Losing Drea here. Today, what is today? Today is Thursday. It is actually June the 29th, 2017. One more day left of this month and we are in July. I believe this is a holiday weekend. Fourth uh, of July, Independence Day for those who just don't know. I mean, if you don't know, you must be from another country or you're in complete cognito. Cognito? Incognito? Anyways, I'm driving, so excuse me for looking away and not being totally uh, observant of the camera because I have to observe the road, but I wanted to come on here and do a quick video because it seems that if I do anything longer than I don't know how many minutes, my camera on my phone shuts off, shuts down, and goes kaput. And I've been having all kinds of problems from filming to uploading, you name it. Now. Let me just kind of give you guys a little bit of an update. Some of you who follow me on Facebook or other forms of social media might know that I am currently on an egg fast. Uh, if you don't know what an egg fast is, look it up. Um, it's basically if you're um, on a stall on a ketogenic diet, uh, you do what's called a fat fast or an egg fast. And in my case, I did the egg fast and I'm currently on day 11. I've gone a full 10 days and I've lost a total of 11.4 pounds. Today I got on the scale and I'm currently 234.4. I'm actually the same weight as I was yesterday after a full nine days. So there was no loss overnight. There was some illness overnight. I was not feeling uh, well at all. I had been having some issues on occasion with what I believe to be my gallbladder. And I don't feel like going to a doctor and having a doctor tell me I need to have my gallbladder removed because I'm able to get rid of the pain with a heating pad and a couple of Advils. And I truly believe that we need our gallbladders because it's an organ that performs a very important function in our bodies. And I don't know if I mentioned it in any of my other videos because I may have and those videos didn't even get uploaded to you guys. So without trying to sit here and... Um, drive myself nuts to remember what I said or didn't say or if those videos that I said them in even got out to you I'll just repeat that much but what I will say about the egg fast is that I'm not sick of eggs I am kind of wanting some other things sort of kind of like I'm not really having cravings I'm not at all that hungry I've only been eating about two days three if I feel a little hungry but the hunger it kind of confusing it's not hunger like we're oh my god I'm hungry I feel ill or I feel my stomach you know like I hear rumbling in my stomach like when your stomach is empty and you have that empty feeling and it starts making noises and that's kind of like an inclination that you need to eat something because your stomach's empty but I'm not I don't have that hunger feeling that's usually associated with that noise so I only eat when I'm hungry I stop when I'm full and let me just say today I actually ate uh, lettuce wraps, which I have not been eating any carbs whatsoever on the egg fast. I do about three eggs and two tablespoons of butter. You're supposed to have a tablespoon, which is a serving of butter for each egg. I have not been doing that even from day one. I only do two tablespoons butter max and I cook my three eggs and then I have two ounces of cheese. You are allowed up to six ounces of cheese per day. If you separate that into meals, then pretty much what you're looking at is you can have what uh, what I've been having is three slices of cheese per meal or just having four ounces a day because I've only been eating two meals. So um, I'm not eating a whole lot, but I am eating more than what uh, my fitness pal would consider to be my allowed calories for the day. Uh, my fitness pal says that I can have 1,200 calories a day, and of course I don't count calories, and I haven't since being on the ketogenic diet. Today is like 173 days that I since I went keto, and of course I did. Oh, here comes the rain. Seems like that happens all the time when I'm vlogging for you guys in my car. But in any case, um, so yeah, like uh, from day one, you know, there, there's been a couple days that I screwed up, but I still, you know, I've been able to get right back on track and get back into keto rather fast. In the past, when I started, and for any of you guys who don't know, I started my journey on October 2nd, 2011, and I had some success in weight loss, not doing keto, uh, just basically, you know, eating smaller portions and trying to move more, and um, 
with that, you know, I signed up for sparkpeople.com as it was recommended from the video that I saw of this girl losing Jess who got me, um, you know, she motivated me basically. I saw her, saw myself in her and thought if she could do it, I could do it. And, you know, I didn't want to spend money on potions or pills or programs. She did hers with weight, uh, with Weight Watchers and Spark People, and I said, well, I'm not going to do the Weight Watchers. I'll just try to, you know, cut down on eating, eat more vegetables, and try to um, limit, you know, my starches and things like that. You know, I was eating potatoes and stuff, and I, and I had a very good weight loss. I had originally lost 78.8 pounds, but as the years kind of went along, you know, six years later, I'm older. My body is not functioning as it probably did back in 2011, and the weight wasn't coming off the way I uh, had expected from past experience so I decided to change things up here and there and if you watch any of my videos which I have hundreds of them now here on my channel you will see that I've tried a couple different things never potions programs or pills but I've tried like you know just eating salads or you know something to that effect but in any case the ketogenic diet has been the best of anything that I have to turn so I have to really like pay attention to the road and it's raining. Um, but yeah, it's been the best of any of the diets or anything. And, and I never used to even say diet, but it's been the best that's ever worked for me. And the easiest for me to acclimate myself back into when I have screwed up. So like I go away and do a bit of traveling and being on the road uh, or being somewhere that, you know, I hadn't been before and I wanted to try like pecan pie or, well, I didn't eat pecan pie. What did I eat? I have pecan log, I'm sorry because um, we were in Georgia and you know I did I did a co I ate a couple things and whatnot which is so not keto and of course I probably think that I knocked myself out of ketosis even though that taste that I always have in my mouth remained in my mouth so in any case uh, so like I felt like I stalled you know now if you watch Dr. Westman uh, videos or uh, Casey Durango keto with Casey you will know from what Dr. Westman says it's not a stall Unless you've gone, like, I forget how many days without the scale moving at all. Not up, not down, just not moving. And so I did have movement, okay? It went up, it went down. It went up, it went down. And I just, but I just kept staying in the same number. And I didn't like that. And, you know, to be the same weight now, in the, I was in the two, well, not now, because now I'm in the 230s, but I was in the 240s for the longest time. If you've been watching me, you'd know that. And I just, I got sick of it. I felt like I was cursed. And I wanted to get way out of the 240s so that I could feel comfortable enough that I'm not going to get back up into the 240s. Well, lo and behold, I'm finally down into the to the low 230s. And 234.4 is awesome for me. It's a little bit more than the halfway mark of the 230s as far as I can count. And, um, you know, but I, I've heard that even if you go on the egg fast or the fat fast, you know, it'll kickstart your metabolism or something um, but you almost almost everybody who ever goes off the egg fast ends up gaining at least some of the weight back that they lost and I'm so afraid of doing that so I've been sticking to the egg fast I think the most that anybody has done on the egg fast from what I know from my own research there was a guy I think he did it for 30 days so um, you know outside of introducing some romaine lettuce today with my first meal of the day, which was egg salad uh, and my coffee, I, um, I've i been pretty much sticking to the egg fast and doing pretty good on it with my weight loss. So we'll see, and hopefully tomorrow there'll be some loss shown on the scale. Um, if I see that I'm stalling now on the egg fast, then I would imagine it wouldn't be working for me anymore, and therefore I will end up probably going off the egg fast a lot sooner than I'm going to aim for. And I guess I'm gonna aim for 30 because this guy did 30. Um, just to see if uh, it's possible and how it makes me feel. If you don't already follow me on Facebook, I have a group on Facebook or a page that I made for myself at Losing Drea on Facebook. It's, that's the name of the page. And I basically have been posting a daily diary of my ongoing egg fast. And um, Nancy Jones, shout out to you, sweetie, uh, had asked me to please, please, please do a video on it, and I did, and the video's sitting on my computer, and I've been unable to edit it and upload it, or even find it to upload it, and I had a problem with my computer, and I spent several days doing all kinds of stuff and fixing my computer, and don't you know today, my mom's computer took a poop, so now I have to 
try to find her a computer because that's all she does. It's the only pleasure she gets is getting on her computer and getting on Facebook or playing games. Anyways, I'm not going to keep you guys too much longer. The rain is horrible. It's been storming here every single day. A little bit of rain to a lot of rain every day since June 1st, and I'm sick of it. But before this thing cuts me off, uh, I want to tell you guys that I miss you all and love you all very much. I'll do another short video about something that I won and um, something that I decided to do with that thanks to one of the other participants who won, um, which I think is a great idea. I'll, I'll do that as a separate video. And if you subscribe to my channel, I want to welcome you aboard as one of my uh, little dreamers and, um, you know, I'm not perfect. I screw up. I'm not a professional. Uh, I do what I got to do for me uh, to see what works for me. I suggest if you're watching along and you want to see what you might be able to do for yourself that works for you. Everybody's different. Uh, that much I have been reading. I do a lot of research and stuff before I try anything that I've tried. Uh, but outside of wherever I find the information doesn't mean that it, there are professionals either. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please click that subscribe button down below. Leave a comment for me in the comment section if you wish. Doesn't matter, questions, whatever. If you want to hit me up privately, I think if you go to my main page, there's some way you can click to send me a message. I always answer everybody back as long as I get your message. That's another story in itself. Um, however, gosh, what else can I tell you? Oh, there's a little bell next to where it says subscribe if you want to be notified of all new videos as I put them out. Sorry there hasn't been that many of them, but I do try. I swear I try. And yeah, with that said, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you. Be the boss of your loss if you're on a weight loss journey. Don't let anybody determine what you eat, put in your mouth, guys. With that said, I love you all. Be blessed. Mwah.